Yo guys, Eric here, and I, I'm coming at you with another freaking wage for this week, because next week I'm not sure if the wage is going to be possible. Um, yeah, I'm wearing the old school, old school chessing jersey that I wore back in the day, you know, with the hand as well. And yeah, I mean, this jersey is like one of the best fucking jerseys I ever got in a fucking sport at school. So... This is probably back in 7th grade when I got this guy, man. It still fits to this day, because I ain't getting any fucking taller. But yeah, man, this jersey was fucking phenomenal, man. So yeah, um, uh, let's see. I, I said I was going to raise, but before we get to that, I found out we're supposed to get a shit ton of snow. Again. It's supposed to snow, it's supposed to get freezing wind, it warmed up fucking yesterday. I guess we'll call this a Mother of Nature rage. Alright, Mother of Nature, if you're gonna listen, you listen up good. Why did you fucking tease us at 45 degrees weather yesterday, and now you're gonna pour snow, and make it fucking cold, and pour some fucking rain, uh, freezing rain, and we're gonna get thunder snow. When it's, you know, it, it, it's the gonna thunder when it's snowing outside. We've, I've experienced that once, two years ago, January, when we were expecting tornado warnings. We had tornado warnings in uh, January. And holy crap, boy. Thunder snow is awesome. But getting it cold and all that shit, not awesome. Because everybody's gonna get sick. And my dad's already sick. Mom's starting to. It better not come to me because I don't want to get sick. Because my birthday's coming up in a week now. And I want to be healthy. Last year I was sick three days before my birthday. And I didn't like that too well. Hopefully that we don't get a same repeat. But yeah. Enough is enough with the snow. I think we got enough snow, my dad. So we got like a foot and a half of snow. It melted a little bit. So I'm thinking we're probably around nine inches of snow. Maybe more. I don't know. But yeah. Also, another race we're gonna do is well, technically, my fear. I I'm gonna raise about my fear of stuff. So it just popped in my mind. I didn't even look at my. Well, I looked at my list. I'm running out of shit on my list. So here, here we go. My fear. My my fear is. Fucking insanely weird. Well, not weird. I want to say more likely scary as fuck. When I watch scary movies, I watch the series, I scream like a little bitch. So, my last girlfriend took me there and I told her no, no, no. And then she, she didn't see it and we used to go and see it. And, oh my god, some certain scene, eh, scream like a girl. Yeah, scary movies suck. They scare the shit. I mean, that's why I prefer comedies or action. Ever since I watched and Final Destiny Season 2, I have a big fear of semi trucks. I hate being side by side of them. I hate when they're fucking behind me and they're hauling ass. Um, I like being, in f well, they can be in front of me all they want. And unless there's wood on there, I imagine the fucking rope snapping and all the wood coming after me. It's just, I gotta pass this guy or fucking just deal with it because I hate semis. That's fear number one. Fear two, tornadoes. Um, I haven't seen a tornado. I, I mean, I've seen tornadoes, but I don't want the fucking experience of a tornado. Because I lose my PS4, my PS3, my laptop, my I Well, I'm probably not my iPhone. But these guys here... These are my everything. I use these for Skype, music, and all that shit. That would I would lose that. I lose all my fucking games. I lose more majority of my clothes. My car. How do I tell work that I can't work because I lost my car in the tornado? And we don't have a kind of a safe zone in this house for a tornado. So that's my fear too. That uh, tornado scared the fuck out of me. I, I'm glad uh, I don't live 
where a tsunami can happen. I can't imagine what that's like. Um, earthquake as well. I know we ha we we do experience earthquakes here in Michigan, but we don't feel it. It's like a micro earthquake. We don't feel that any day. Even though I think there was like three years ago, we there was an earthquake. I think about 400 miles away. I I don't know. But they felt it, but it wasn't that bad. Um. So, anyways, uh, me and Thunder, and then, yes, my third fear is, um, people just coming out of the blue and be like, Bleh! It's like, dude, what the don't scare me like that. I'm fucking doing something. Or I'd be like this. Be like this. There's a girl at work. Be like, I'm stalking crazy. You know, and she'll come by and be like, Bah! It's like, What are you trying to do? Give me a freaking heart attack? God. <laughs> he did that to me like a lot of times lately. It's like, what the fuck is your problem? You're like scared of okay, this guy? <laughs> uh, I made a comment to you about her that uh, day. and be like, well, if you do that to me on 50, you're paying for my house to boil. And she kind of laughed. But yeah, whatever. Um, my fourth fear. This this is the biggest fear of them all. Burying. Well, it's not technically a fear. Well, I guess it is. Burying a pet. We had to do that recently. No one else wanted to do it. I had to bury my pet Sandy. And I, I miss her every freaking day. I've had her since I was nine years old. And it feels like losing a brother or sister of the family. And it was so hard to bury her. And I, I had a really, really hard time trying to move on. I mean, I think about her every day. Every day after Christmas gets hard because that's when we got her in 2000. In 12 years of my life, she was in mine. So I miss her every day. So death of loved ones is another fear I have. I've lost a fair share of grandmas, cousins, uncles, great-grandmas. Miss you, great grandma, huh? If you're watching it or watching from above, I'm doing all right. Working my butt off, as you can tell. But yeah. Um. I don't really have a fear of dying. It's just what's going to happen if I'm not here the next day. That's my fear. What are people going to remember me by? That's my fear. If I, let's say I croak tomorrow, let's say it don't happen. Hey, God, I'm just making a video, so don't do that. Um. What would happen? How would I be remembered? That's the question I've had in my mind since the day my great grandma died. What what would happen? Man, this thing going a lot faster than the other day. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that's my fear. I mean, I don't fear of dying. I just fear how other people are gonna react. That's my fear of that. Um, I think that's about it with the rays. I thought it was a little bit short, but yeah, it, it was worth it. Um, might as well say, we'll call this Eric Rages on uh, Mother Nature and also talk about his fears. That's the title. Um, let me know if you guys like the rays. This is a shirt I got chesting, uh, chesting. Too bad I didn't say baseball and like some other, but number 16. I wanted 14, but 14 was on a different team. Piss me off. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, and another thing before I go, at work yesterday, uh, I was packing some yogurt, you know, and this little girl in the car was like, "Hi," you know, she kind of waved and she said, "Hi," and I said, "Hi back," and she kept doing it to me for a while. And then the man's like, that was with her. I assume it was her dad, and he was like, "Bro." If you keep saying hi to her, she ain't gonna stop. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> and and the uh, uh, dad made a compliment, uh, comment to me. You're gonna have to learn some more syllables, uh, because hi and bye go got it. 
But I thought it was the cutest thing in the world. And then they were about to leave, and she's like, bye. And I'm like, bye. <laughs> I, it was just the most adorable thing you could see while working. Um, I do get kids like that come up to me all the time at work, be like, hi, or where's this item at? <laughs> so, it's always a blessing as well. So, well, I think I'm done. This video is just about done. We're going to upload this shit to YouTube because this is the first dual commentary. Well, technically, it's not going to do commentary. This one is a hell of a lot better thanks to Windows Movie Maker. I applaud you. You are my savior for making the dual commentary audio even with the game audio and the reactions in the video. So stay tuned for that. That's on Thunderside and... And a mystery guest that will not name that will be saved for the video. And this is there and peace out. Till my next rage. If we do one, I don't know. Peace out till next time. What the fuck's up with my pinkies? They're wicked. I think we'll rage about these guys next week. Who knows? Peace out till next time. Bye.